All right, what's up, YouTube? Just going out to all my Mazda 3 owners. I want to show you my Mazda 3 travel setup. I just drove 3,000 miles across the country here, uh, California to New Jersey. So uh, I'll just show you what I did here, how I load up the car and the special shades that I made that uh, keeps the vehicle a little bit more secure. Uh, not secure, but at least to prying eyes. Anyhow, um, I'm also going to show you how much we can fit in the Mazda 3, but that's going to be on a, a separate video. So right now, uh, you can see, here's my car. And it's loaded full of stuff. The only place you can see anything is right here because I didn't put the screen in here. No big deal for the video, but I have one of those, um, you know, just regular sun visor type. But here you can see a little bit more clearly because of the way the sun is shining. I have a blackout panel here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you how to ha have the car set up inside for the travel key elements. For myself, uh, I wanted to be able to charge my uh, laptop while I was on the road. So one of the things that I did was to set up this inverter here. Here's my inverter. And so it's wired to the battery in the cab. So I wouldn't run anything on this for long without the car running, but while the car is running, uh, this is totally fine for charging my laptop or if I wanted to run a you know, small device like a shaver or anything like that, I could totally do that while I'm on my trip uh, without having to rely on someone else. You know, I could be camped up somewhere on the laptop for a little while, parked outside somewhere catching some Wi-Fi um, I not have to worry about how much charge my laptop has. So uh, now I'm going to get to showing you um, some of my considerations. One, uh, I had a basket here also, but a primary feature that I wanted was to keep the the view to that mirror clear because um, you know I have the black totally full here. So so on this side. And uh, I'm going to make a separate video about these blackout panels. I would have made them a little bit better. Uh, some improvements here. I could do a magnet at the top here, which would help them stay in better. Right now they rely on this, uh, on this fabric to close it into the, into the door there. But what's in there, like uh, here now because the sun is different, you cannot tell that it's a blackout panel. It just looks like really dark tint. So, here's the back. And you'll see that I have it full of uh, three levels of bins here. So it's gonna be pretty easy to just now pull everything out of the car. So I have um, these bins side by side. Here's the back. Pretty close, could fit a little bit more in there. Uh, I have this sun visor here where it could also be laid out if I didn't want to have someone have a view to this, but it's not really much to see there. And here's this side. I have this other larger bin, my guitar. So what I did, I have one side that the seat is down, and that was to get my guitar in here and my drum. And I use this very one very large bin with my drum and the guitar over top of that. And um, then on this other side here, the seat is up. And uh, I have this bin stacked on top of there. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out and show you how much we can fit in the Mazda 3.